ancient Egyptian civilization was built upon the foundations of nature, finding harmony despite extremes to survive and prosper. They're lessons that can still be applied today amid the steep challenges of climate change. There is many factors, climate, climate change, hot weather, cold, moisture, tourism, uh, attraction by taking photographs. In 100 years, in my opinion, if we do not control the climate change and try to accommodate between the native tourism and the preservation of antiquities, all these tombs will be completely finished. And all of us will be sorry. The tombs in the Valley of the Kings will collapse completely. If you lose your past, you lose your future. And therefore, this is the future, not only of Egypt, but the future of the whole of the world. And this is why it is the duty of the whole world to cooperate together. It is expensive, but you know, uh, we have to, we have to, we cannot leave our monuments be suffering from such uh, things like this without being attention, without interfering. We had really a very bad summer with high temperature which affect the, the, the monuments and the antiquities itself and the, uh, it wasn't like this before. With water comes salt, salt eats the, the stones. With water comes vegetation, as I say, it invades. So it is necessary. If we had left, the temple would disappear one day uh, from the action of these uh, enemies. We should save anything we can. Uh, but you know, Egypt is rich. This is a great civilization. It is full of monuments to conserve. We should do anything possible to conserve the last remains. The emergence of uh, humanity depended on uh, climate change and we had to struggle with climate change from day one. Uh, how did we cope with climate change and exist under all kinds of severe uh, climatic conditions was I think first to be able to take action as soon as we can. Uh, the problem today is that the the distance between observing climate change and taking action has become so long and protracted that we may not be able and we have not been able to act in time.